The uh, ANC in the Northwest Province maintains that uh, former provincial chairperson Supra Mahuma Pelo remains a suspended member. Interim Provincial Committee Coordinator Lamani Chauke says that uh, the ANC Secretary uh, General Ace Mahashule is deliberately misinterpreting the party's constitution to protect Mahuma Pelo. Uh, Chauke says that Mahashule does not have the authority from the NEC to lift Mahuma Pelo's suspension in his alleged appeal. Appeal. Our senior reporter, Sam Kele Maseko, now sits down uh, with the Interim Provincial uh, Committee Coordinator. And I'll hand over to him. A very good afternoon to you, uh, Sam Kele. Indeed, Flo Letuaba, the membership of uh, Supra Muamapilo, the former provincial chairperson of the ANC in the Northwest, hangs with a dark cloud over it uh, with uh, that letter sent out by the SG of the ANC, Ace Mahashule, in saying that his membership is still intact. Hours later, Shomane Chauke, the coordinator of the IPC of the ANC, is saying that's not the case. The ANC SG is uh, misquoting and misrepresenting the ANC's uh, constitution and also doesn't have the authority of the NEC to lift that suspension of Muhammad Pilo. Mr. Chauke, the IPC coordinator of the ANC in the Northwest, what's the status of Mr. Muhammad Pilo's membership? Well, uh, firstly, let me take this opportunity to welcome you to the Northwest and to greet all the viewers of SAPC. Uh, firstly, let me just take you briefly on uh, matters of DC that uh, I will not be able to elaborate in detail. But what I will say to you is that uh, the Provincial Disciplinary Committee of the ANC, of the IPC in the Northwest, has came out with a verdict that suspend the membership of uh, Comrade Supra and Comrade Pizza for a period of five years and certain matters that need to be attended to, including the issues of him and Comrade Pizza having to go on through a kind of a mentorship uh, to be a help to understand the workings of the African National Congress, its aims and objectives of the ANC, the principles of the African National Congress. So that process is what the, the Provincial Disciplinary Committee is resolving. Therefore, if comrades feel aggrieved that they do not agree with the decision of the provincial structure, uh, comrades have the right, in terms of the ANC constitution, to appeal that decision. And in terms of the ANC constitution, the process of therefore appealing this decision will have to go to the National Disciplinary Committee, receive a document in a form of a file. And that file will be a file of comrades with all information of what has happened at the level of the Provincial Disciplinary Committee. We as a province have already done that. We have submitted the detail of charges, including the conclusion uh, done by the Provincial Disciplinary Committee. And that process is handled by the National Disciplinary Committee, including the National Disciplinary Committees of Appeals. That's where the matter is supposed to be. The role of the Secretary General is only coming at the point of acknowledging, if we are to acknowledge uh, such information, right? Not to, out to announce the outcome, neither even to set aside a decision. That decision can only be set aside by the National Disciplinary Committee or the, the Appeals Committee. Uh, if it's the SG that does that, it had, in terms of the NC Constitution, it had to be a decision of the National Executive Committee of the NC, right? So where we are as the province, where we are is that uh, the membership is suspended, both Comrade Vita and Comrade uh, Supra, and many other comrades that were found guilty, by the way. It's not only them. The other comrades that we have since referred their matters to National, and then we only discovered there's a a decision that has been taken on the on the behavior again charges that were laid against the speaker of Ramon Tirimilwa, uh, who we understand that he has uh, appealed and only when we check with the appeals committee that is not true right so i'm saying that we have a number of these cases but where we are sitting that membership is currently suspended uh, until such time that we are informed accordingly. Why would the SG of the ANC then make a decisive decision that the membership is still intact if it did not have the authority of the National Executive Committee of the ANC? Look, we have uh, written a letter uh, to the SG uh, to seek such clarity. I will not want to comment uh, on that and unless it's him who will do that. But I will take it that uh, it's still an internal process uh, that I will not want even to get to that detail of that arrangement. Uh, it means if the province has written 
to the SG to clarify in terms of the constitution, in terms of his role in that regard. So I will take it that kindly the SG will do that. He will communicate with the structure, what informs him of him having taken that decision, and then I think we'll take it up from there. While he has not responded to us, that is why the position that we are taking is that the membership of this comrade still remain suspended. And then we'll await in the outcome of the SG's uh, response to our letter that we have written to him. Did he not communicate uh, with you directly? Because we saw a letter which was leaked to us as the SAPC that Supra's Muhammad Pillow's membership in the province and pizza is still intact and uh, that particular issue has now been sent to the National Disciplinary Committee of Appeals. Look, the, the, the manner in which uh, I think ourselves to receive this information was not directly sent to us. It was sent, if you read that letter, it was sent to the affected comrades. Not, and we saw it on the social media. We thought it's important as a provincial structure that we must close down any confusion. Because if this matter will be left unattended, it may create an impression and it may create a problem. In fact, that when you see the behavior of these other comrades that are charged, you see them, in fact, announcing openly and continuing with what we have charged them. We have charged them for ill discipline, disrespecting programs of the ANC, disrespecting the constitution of the ANC. And therefore, that letter, in fact, creates that platform for continuation of uh, ill discipline right so so our position in that regard is that the sooner he respond the better he help us to understand what informs him on this matter is the sg collaborating with supra muhammad Bilo in the province we've heard him in the free state saying there is no northwest anc without supra muhammad Bilo. look on that matter i think uh, you'll recall that not long ago uh, somewhere early in february the SG was here meeting with structures of the NC. They were very much aggrieved, including ourselves again as the provincial structure. We were very much aggrieved that you have an IPC that was established by the national leadership. In that IPC, you have inclusion of all these companies, including Supra Mahoma Pelo and others. Uh, Supra then decided to resign from the structure. Right? Uh, uh, for a long time, I mean, almost a year. Uh, citing his own reasons why he would not serve with us. Right? And then we had the SG pronouncing uh, in Bloemfontein on the, uh, 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 the role that Supra must play. Without Supra, there will be no strategy. He had to come and apologize here. Branches of the NC were not happy. Uh, you saw the interview that happened. You saw the memorandum that was written to the SG, including the NEC, on this matter. So he had to apologize, and I take it that uh, he has apologized on that because he has came to realize Supra is not the Alpha and Omega of, the Omega of the Northwest province. Supra is an ordinary member of the ANC, he's a deployee of the ANC in the National Assembly. He has played his role, at some point he has been a leader of the ANC. There, there's leadership now in the province, and there's been leaders in the province, including the veterans, the level in which they'll go to an extent of disrespecting even the veterans of the NC by utterances that are made by Supra Mahoma Pep. He's an ordinary member. He is a member that belongs to a branch whose membership currently is suspended. There's nothing special about him, right? Just nothing special about him. For him to get the coverage that he's getting and utterances that he's able to speak even on national issues where he does not even serve at the level of the NEC, neither the provincial structure, and pronounce even on issues of step aside, clearly demonstrate the level of ill discipline that we're dealing with in this province, right? So it's something that we're very much disturbed, but I think on that matter, the SG has made it very clear. He apologized openly to the end. We have accepted his apology, but he is not a special person. There are many leaders, tried and tested cadres of the movement in the Northwest, who have served the movement with diligence and pride, right? Who have served when they were sent either to government or to lead, they made sure that they leave the ANC in turn. So there's nothing special that we can say about Supra that will worry. He's a rank and file member of the NC belonging to a branch there, right? He does not have any right to speak about any authority on any matter, unless if his branch is the one that is saying on this thing, not him as individual. That is why we are saying that we are monitoring the situation and we are going to continue. We're, we're not going to stop. If there's disrespect of the structure and the programs of the NC by these individuals, we are going to continue to charge them. We are going to refer them to DC again. We are busy studying certain matters that are before us currently on this kind of ill discipline. We will continue to do that. We are not going to stop. 
not because of this case and many other cases that will definitely deal with. It's not about personal issues. It's about the respect of the organization in the Northwest province, which I think part of the mandate given to the IPC is to rebuild the organization. And we cannot be rebuild the organization when there's ill discipline. Where there's ill discipline, we've made so many efforts. You know, if I were to tell you that from 2019, I've written letters to Supra and other comrades. Some of these comrades have stopped to do this parallel program that they've been doing, right? And this comrade continued to undermine the structure. He need to begin to understand that at some point he must shut up. He's no longer a leader that can pronounce on ANC processes and programs and ANC policy positions. He must understand that part. Mr. Chauke, is this issue between yourself and Mr. Mama Pilo not personal in order to try and block him from ascending again as the provincial chairperson of the province? Look, uh, you know, you know, uh, some of us will be in the movement of Atuno. When Comrade Super joined the ANC, he found us in the ANC. Right? In fact, we welcomed him when he joined the ANC. We're still in the Western Transvaal. When he joined the ANC, he found us in this movement. Right? Now, now, there's nothing that we can want to use uh, personally against any comrade. Any comrade has a right to stand and to be elected by branches of the ANC. But any comrade that is ill-disciplined we definitely going to put our foot down. We have to respect policies of the African nation. We have to respect the constitution. I think one of the things that is important is members of the NC to study and to understand policies, aims of the NC, objective of the NC. When they join the NC as volunteer, you join it as individual, right? And when you do that, there's an oath that you sign. And that oath binds you with regard to your behavior and the role that is expected of you as a leader, as a member of the ANC in your contribution to achieve the objective set up of the African National Congress. So therefore, there's nothing personal, and there'll never be anything personal. We are here to rebuild. In that process, we are going to crush any resistance that does not want to work with us at the level of rebuilding the organization. Are you willing to expel those, including Supra? Look, anyone, anyone who will find himself and the decision then, who then gets taken by the disciplinary processes of the NC will not going to stand in the way. If the Provincial Disciplinary Committee of the NC takes a decision about any comrade, we'll abide by that decision. Because we'll have satisfied ourselves, we'll have engaged with this comrade. 2019, I wrote letters to individuals, including Supra, to warn them. 2019 to warn them about this behavior of creating parallel programs when all of us are focusing into rebuilding the NC, making sure that in every one we have a strong solid African national congress. Comrades decide to go and do other things outside the mandate of the party, outside the programs that all of us have agreed upon. So in that regard we'll definitely be able to take necessary action. We'll refer those comrades to DC A due processes will be followed. We will never go into purge any comrade. The reality is that the ANC is bleeding and we are not going to allow the ANC to bleed. We are not going to allow the ANC to die in our hands because of certain individuals who are doing their own interests. Right? We are not going to allow that. We are going to work together with everybody, every, including Supra Mahomapelo and the rest of them. We are going to work together on one program and that program is to rebuild the African National Congress. Right? Nobody else must work outside that program. You work outside that program, go and create divisions. We're going to end. We're not going to sit back and say that because you are the holiest leader, therefore we must leave you. It does not work like that in the movement. Mr. Chauke, he says that he was not uh, given an opportunity of legal representation in the disciplinary committee because his lawyers weren't able to come to that particular sitting. Is there credence to this allegation that he's making? Well, the report of the DC, which we have already communicated to National, which uh, we have received as a provincial structure, and all processes that were followed, they attended DC, they were represented at DC, right? So uh, that does not arise, because we, we work on the basis of that report of the DC, right? And the DC confirms that comrades were represented. Uh, 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 therefore, the honor is on them. In fact, uh, uh, if they are making these allegations, again, it's another thing that takes you back to 
what we then have to tend to be an appeal. Because well, these are matters that you must raise them in the appeal. If you again you go public on ANC internal matters, what does it tell you? It tells you that the comrade does not really understand what the ANC stands for and how the ANC deals with this matter. Once you are matter, if you have applied for appeal, you remain silent until your matter is resolved. You don't even have to address any structure because you are suspended. There's nothing that gives you an authority to go and address structures of the NC when your membership is suspended. We have now written a letter to inform all our structures of those that we have suspended. It's very important. Those that are suspended to understand so that they don't go and create confusion on the ground. When you are suspended, you are suspended. It does not change you until the appeals then comes back and say, we have now received the appeal of the following comrades. And again, in that regard, comrades are not just giving the leeway to go and nilly -willy, willy and go and address structures. It's not their mandate. Their mandate is to work with the branch where they are deployed and deal with matters of water, matters of roads and service delivery that has collapsed in this province. We have a provincial government that is under Section 100 today. It's a shame because these were leaders who were in charge at that time. Under Section 100 means that we are not able, in fact, to implement the ANC manifesto. Its aims and objectives of the African National Congress in the Northwest is still a challenge. This is what the Congress must be worried about. Rather than going around and addressing structures, let's address them about water matters, service delivery matters, job creation. When majority of our young people are unemployed, we're calling them Bonya Ope on the street there because we are failing to give leadership. And Congress is about themselves and them, them, them having to lead the province. It's not about that. Ours is to make sure that we implement the manifesto of the African National Congress. This is what we expect all leaders of the ANC to focus their energy on. If he indeed appeals and goes ahead and the ST communicates that the appeal and the National Disciplinary Committee says the appeal is there, does his membership still remain active during that appeal or he remains suspended until the verdict of the appeal comes out? That will come from the appeals committee or, or the NDC. No one has authority on these matters. That will be communicated in many other matters that we have dealt with. The NDC has communicated with us. We have received letters that come from Comrade Nomvula on certain matters that we have dealt with. Right? So we'll await that process. Until such process is not yet finalized or dealt with, he will remain suspended until you are properly informed that there's an appeal that has been lodged, formally so, and the process has not already started. Then the province will take it up from there. How far is the process? Because, was, because in the charges that you conferred against him, you said that he encouraged one of the mayors to rebel against the decision of the IPC for that mayor to resign. In, in, in the particular position that they were holding. How far is that particular issue of mayors and other deployees of your organization removing themselves and stepping aside from the positions that they're holding in government? Well, look, I think uh, the issue of uh, step aside, you'll understand that it's a matter that is currently at national. And we all know that uh, the deadline was Friday, as the president has announced in terms of the NEC resolution. Where, where we are, we have communicated uh, with the national office those that uh, uh, found themselves obvious on the side of the law we have done that uh, will await their watch call their uh, step aside which i believe that uh, starting from tomorrow from yesterday today and tomorrow we will be receiving information that comrades are now abide by that decision it's not negotiable you cannot negotiate a resolution taken the nec has made it easy to come up with guidelines and the nec has pronounced on this matter Right? The NEC has agreed that they will give those that are found to be wanting, those who are appearing at court, who are charged with fraud and corruption and crime against the people, to step aside. Right? So we expect to see that. In the Northwest, we have two comrades who have already done that. Right? We have a comrade uh, who was the fundraiser of the NEC. Immediately when this matter was brought before the NEC, before even where the regulations in place or guidelines in place, Comrades have stepped aside. There's a comrade in Prague who's a councillor. He has stepped aside. We have the IPC fundraiser. IPC fundraiser. Highest level. He has stepped aside without any problem. Right? And those who are there, including the, the other comrades who are there, we expect them to do the same. So we have communicated with them. We're waiting to see action. And the NEC is very clear. Failure to do that as a province. We'll refer them to DC. We'll take the necessary action. 
We're not going to sit back. We've got guidelines that are there, adopted by the NEC. So we don't negotiate such matters. There's no negotiation. What we expect is that comrades must do exactly what they're asked to do. Including? By membership of the NEC. This resolution is a resolution taken by members of the... So there's no one who must say, I'm still going to consult with the membership. Membership has already pronounced on this matter. When we're in Nazareth, they pronounced on this matter that ANC must begin to cleanse itself from elements of fraud and corruption. ANC must be seen fighting corruption, right? So it cannot be a situation that when I'm implicated, then I must go back and consult with, with structures. What do I want? Because structures have already pronounced on these matters. On the issue of step aside, your SG was consulting former leaders of the organization, guiding him on what to do on the issue of step aside. Do you believe he should step aside? It's a decision. Not only this decision when it was made, it was not made for the SG. It was made for general comrades who found themselves in that situation. Right? So what we expect is that everybody must do the same. There's no one who's above the constitution or policy position of the African National Congress. So we'll definitely expect to see action. We'll expect to see everybody going home, doing what they must do, focus on their cases once they're clean up and all of that, come back to the party and continue to contribute to the rebuilding of this country, to contribute to better the lives of our people, to contribute to make sure that our villages have water, we got roads, our young people got jobs and all of that. This is the focus of the NC. So it's not about individuals, it's about the entire collective of the movement. Its aims and objective of the African National Congress to be realized on the ground there. This is our focus. The ANC cannot be all ransomed by any individual. The African National Congress is talking about the people, the leader of the society. So it, therefore it cannot be that uh, we must firstly, uh, you know, cushion certain individuals. All of us, if it happens that Chauke is found in this situation, I will definitely do the same. I will not even want to negotiate that with anyone. Because I understand the policy position of the African National Congress. You are an interim structure, Mr. Chauke. When are the regional conferences and the provincial conference? Where our mandate, obvious, of the IPC, having embarked on the program of rebuilding the organization, we have developed a roadmap. And in that roadmap, the plan of the IPC in the Northwest, we have two regions already that qualifies to go to the regional conference. Currently, we have branches of the NC that are going through their branch general meetings to elect the, the leadership that they want to elect and then for them to, because most of our branches in the province were not in good standing and that program in fact has helped us in fact that today we can proudly say that we're ready if we were not disturbed by COVID by now we'll have gone to a provincial conference but because of the gap that has happened we are now continuing again with the rebuilding there are two regions including Bojanala that are ready to go to conference we are focusing our energy around that particular areas now making sure that branches of the NC uh, are in fact having this general meeting the general membership of the NC attend these meetings and then they'll do the necessary thing of making sure that uh, they elect the leadership at the branch nominate the delegates that must go to regional conferences including the provincial conference that is set up in fact uh, to happen in June Mr. Chauke, there seems to be a war raging within your organization, nationally and provincially. Is the Northwest Province split around Cyril Ramaphosa, the president of the ANC, and Ace Sekhobela Mahashule, the secretary general of the ANC? We are seeing the likes of Supra Muamapilo are seemingly aligned to the SG of the ANC. No, well, in the Northwest, I think the ANC in the Northwest is very much united. We do have pockets of individuals uh, that always try and break away. Uh, from the general collective of all structures of the ANC in the Northwest. We still see that. And they're well known individual general, right? But I'll say that uh, the ANC is very united in the Northwest. Uh, this pockets of resistance that we're dealing with, obviously, is what we expected. That in our program of rebuilding the movement, you are going to co be confronted by this. It depends on what we do. When we get this resistance, we don't run away and shy away and say there's nothing we can do. When we get this resistance, is to engage with that resistance. For Kombay to understand the bigger picture. The bigger picture, it cannot be the split of Cyril Ramaphosa and Ace Mahashul. It must be about service delivered. It must be about how best do we change the lives of our people. Anyone that fights about CR17 or NBZ or what, for me, it does not make sense. What makes sense? It's how do we better the lives of our people on the ground. How do we, there are villages today where they will not have water for two or three weeks or two months 
in the villages in the northwest. Here. These are things that give us sleepless nights. These are things that we are worried about when we see young people unemployed smoking nyaupe on the street. It's something that we cannot celebrate because we see a generation of young people disappearing in front of us. These are things that we must be worried about. So therefore, all of us have a responsibility to rally around the leadership elected in Nazareth, to rally around the programs and the, pro and the project that the President Cyril Ramaphosa and the entire NEC of the NC is persuading. Do you believe that there is an organization being formed inside the ANC operating at the sixth floor at the SGO office, RET? Well, look, the issue of the RET uh, and the new organization that may be formed, if anyone wants to form, they know. They must just leave the NC. You leave the NC and go and start your own thing. You can't do it inside the NC. Go and do your own thing. They will contest you outside there. ANC is a voluntary organization. If you want to remain a member, you are going to be loyal, you are going to be disciplined, you are going to work within the confines of the constitution of the NC. If you feel that you are better off, so you better you leave the NC and go and start your own thing there. And we will contest you there. We have seen them come and go. We have seen them come and go. They have formed their own parties. You are all missiles of this nature, the PAC of this nature. We know them. The ANC will always remain intact. The ANC will remain the leader of the... No one, no one can crush this movement, the African National Congress. No one. Neither to fight it within. We are going to expose those who want to fight the ANC within and they'll leave the party and go and start their own thing there. But I'll take it that if there are contradictions, let's find each other. If we don't agree on matters, let's find each other. Rather than to spoil a noble cause, a cause to better the lives of our people who are oppressed for more than 350 years. We cannot sit back and allow the ANC to die in our hands. That will never allow. Have you spoken to Supra Muhammad Pilo ever since you suspended him? Well, obviously, we communicate with him through the letters that uh, we have sent him letters. We send him all the communication that is required. Uh, if it's personal engagement, we speak. There's nothing to engage uh, around when organizational matters, we always try and formalize them. So that no one comes tomorrow and said, I'm not informed, I have not received such information. So we make sure that all the communication that is sent is sent prop. But as comrade to comrade, there's just no problem in between. As the IPC coordinator, have you given him a call over his suspension? No, no, we have a structure that, uh, as I've said that, I communicate the decisions of the party, the constitution of the NC. Says three things about communicating the outcome of the decision. He says one, that uh, you'll use either through a letter that you write to a comrade which you have done you'll fax it right or email it we have done that with the new technology now even the whatsapp that comes in the other point that is very important through public uh, pronouncement i will have do i will have done that in this level where we are and announce that the uh, comrade supra and the rest of these other comrades are now suspended i'll do that the constitution of the NC says this is how we must do it. There's no constitution, you must call them, have coffee with them, you know, and then have a cake before. It does not say that. It says these are three areas identified to communicate the decision of the disciplinary committee. So we're following that. The other issues of cake and coffee, coffee, we can do them. It's not a problem. We're comrades, we cannot kill each other. We love each other, we'll embrace each other. But one thing that we must never forget, the ANC is run by a constitution. And therefore, all of us, all of us, are guided by that constitution. Thank you very much, Mr. Chauke. That was Chauke, Shomane Chauke, the IPC coordinator of the ANC in the Northwest Province, saying Pizza and Supra Muamapilo remain suspended members of the ANC in the Northwest Province. They are seeking clarity from the SG of the ANC, Ace Mahashule, who has not yet communicated the decision of his mate that uh, they should remain and their membership is still intact.